so hey guys welcome back to another video from andro page so in this today's video we are going to try this new emulator which is called as game fusion and also the game hub so this uh, emulator is actually developed by the same developer who developed a Guinness emulator so we must be hopeful that this emulator is going to work better as compared to other windows emulators like emulator and we must be hopeful that this uh, this should work with the mali devices because it does support um uh, of their own driver uh, apart from turnip okay so let's just uh, quickly uh, set up this emulator and let's try a game and let's find out if it's working on our mali device or not so uh, before beginning let me quickly show you that uh, what is my device so as you can see guys my device is diamond city 1200 and which is powered by mali g77 gpu so let's quickly begin with this setup so simply download that okay so let me click you can download so you have to open this website it will link will be given in the description and by clicking here you can download this particular uh, emulator okay now simply install it now just click here to open okay so here you have to sign in with uh, any of your accounts i'll i'll sign in for now with google okay now you have to allow all the permissions required now click on simply allow now just okay so you will uh, find out this kind of an interface and it's uh, much like a uh, uh, cloud gaming application with uh, all the games that you can play uh, through your internet connection directly but not just that you can also play offline games just like winlater for that you have to just click here so you have to click here and here just you have to go to this option called games okay so here just click on this option so here you get the option to add games so for that just click on this plus icon and uh, find your game so i have uh, already downloaded some small games that does not require too much graphical um, power so that we can test if it's working on a mali device or not so here to select the exe uh, of the game that's it your game will be shown up now here uh, uh, when you start the simulator first time it will auto download all the required file like wine like a d3d like a dxvk all the required things that required to run a windows games so just you, you just need to wait for a few minutes it will auto download all the required things so okay so let's just wait for minute and let's see how much it ta time takes to download okay so all the things are now downloaded so just go to the games and you will see the game that we have imported now the thing is we need to actually uh, configure this uh, setting okay so for that you just have to click on the game and just click on this setting icon okay now just go to game settings so here you will find to actually um, change your settings so okay so since this is a mali device so we are going to check if txvk is working uh, with this particular emulator because they support um, actually a default uh, system driver so we are going to try if this working or not okay so so for that you have to uh so if you have a mali device you have to choose system driver from gpu driver option okay now here in the dxvk version you must choose the uh, dxvk version 1.10.3 so this is a very important step okay because uh, other dxvk doesn't work so this is the 
only DXV K that uh, sometimes works with Mali. So, uh, from compatibility, so if you have a Mali device, so you have to choose system driver from GPU driver section. Okay, so now just scroll down. Now, here DXVK version, you have to choose uh, DXVK uh, 1.10.3 because other DXVKs doesn't work with Mali device. So, that's it, our setting is done. So if you want, you can enable this direct text card to uh, monitor the FPS. So since we are testing for the first time, let me enable it. Okay. So uh, okay. before beginning, let me quickly uh, again confirm you that I am using a Mali device because many of you uh, comment that this is fake. So, so let me confirm you with that. Okay. So now just play it. So let's wait for the game to load. So as you can see that our game has loaded. So okay, so let me show you that how you can actually uh, enable the on screen controls. For that, you can just click back button, and this kind of a uh, stride menu will appear. And from here, just click on this uh, keyboard kind of icon, and just tick this option input mapping. Now here, just you can change this input mapping uh, to keyboard mode, and for that you can just click on apply. That's it, and it uh, the interface will be just like win later. So here. Press E. Press Enter. Okay. So as you can see, guys. Uh, so this is a small game, not that much graphical intensive, and it is actually working on our Mali device. So if it's in the top left corner, uh, that you will see that our DXVK HUD has shown up, and as you can see that it's running using Game Fusion driver, and uh, it's actually running on a Mali device. Yeah. So let's uh, just do a quick gameplay. So actually I have not configured the controls as per the game requirement so it's uh, actually getting difficult uh, for me to play the game as of now so for the testing purpose I'm just uh, playing randomly okay The good part is that at least TXVK working in some games on a Mali device. So that's it for now guys. You can also install this uh, particular emulator and try in your Mali device if it's working for you or not. So that's it guys. Goodbye and have a nice day. And yes link will be given in the description. And if you like my video you can subscribe. That's it guys. Goodbye and have a nice day.